Good afternoon. Since the beginning of his administration, President Trump has implemented a whole of government approach to safeguard our nation's elections. The president has made it clear that his administration will not tolerate foreign interference in our elections from any nation state or other dangerous actor. Uh, and I think it's important that uh, uh, we address the question of the president's involvement in this, his leadership, his determination to prevent uh, Russian and other foreign influence in elections. Uh, we meet on this constantly, uh, the senior staff here in the White House. We uh, meet with the uh, heads of uh, the different agencies involved. We discuss it quite regularly. In my tenure as national security advisor, less than two months, uh, we've already had two full National Security Council meetings chaired by the President and, as I say, countless other discussions as well. Since January 2017, the President has taken decisive action to defend our election systems from meddling and interference. This includes measures to heighten the security and resilience of election systems and processes, to confront Russian and other foreign malign influence in the United States, to confront such aggression through international action uh, and to reinforce a strong sanctions regime. Numerous times and rather extensively, the purpose of today's briefing... The President has specifically directed us to make the matter of the election meddling and securing our election process a top priority, and we have done that and are doing that and will continue to do so. We have incorporated the lessons learned from the 2016 election and implemented a broad spectrum of actions to share more information across the federal government, as well as with state and local governments, and also with the public and the private sector. The intelligence community continues to be concerned about the threats of upcoming U.S. elections, both the midterms and the presidential elections of 2020. In regards to Russian involvement in the midterm elections, we continue to see a pervasive messaging, messaging campaign by Russia to try to weaken and divide the United States. These efforts are not exclusive to this election or future elections, but certainly cover issues relevant to the election. We also know the Russians try to hack into and steal information from candidates and government officials alike. We are aware that Russia is not the only country that has an interest in trying to influence our domestic political environment. Our democracy itself is in the crosshairs. Free and fair elections are the cornerstone of our democracy, and it has become clear that they are the target of our adversaries who seek, as the DNI just said, to sow discord and undermine our way of life. 